Hi, I'm Chris of Florida Drone Supply, and we are back with the next BLK to Fly demo video. We previously covered the Before You Fly video, and you can see that here. And today, we're going to be covering your first flight with the BLK to Fly. In this video, we will be reviewing the necessary pre flight checks, arming and taking off, manual and tap to fly, starting and stopping the LiDAR recording, as well as procedures like return to home. Pre-flight checks. First, we're going to unbox the drone and the battery, and we're going to check the status of the battery, ensuring that it is fully charged. Next, we're going to unfold the BLK to fly and check for any visual damage on the vehicle and the props. And we recommend also running your fingers down the blades to check for any debris, cracks, or pitting that may have occurred. Next, we're going to power on the drone and launch the app. The app will search for the previously connected drone and pair. And you will want to ensure that the collar on the drone is solid green to ensure a successful pair. Afterwards, we're going to check our flight settings for altitude, velocity, control interactions, return behavior, and joystick mode. These should maintain the previous setting, but we find it a good practice to check at the start of each flight. The final check is on the compass. If needed, you will get a notification that there is a compass calibration required, but we find that a calibration at the start of each day is best. Once we are done calibrating the compass, we're going to check our airspace and set any necessary geofencing. To check airspace starting from the live view screen, we're going to select the map icon in the bottom left. Once in map view, select a gray information icon on the left side screen, and this will activate the rule sets and advisories, as well as pull up the FAA grid map for reference. As this drone does not restrict where flight can occur, the pilot in command will need to pay close attention to all flight restrictions. After we confirm that we are not in any restricted airspace, we are going to set a geofence for our area of operation. Note that this is not a requirement to fly, but a useful feature for some users. Using the same earth view map that we used for airspace checks, we are now going to select the gray geofencing icon. From here, it is a simple dropping of points to outline your area. You can then use the vertical slider to set the altitude of restriction for your geofence. When you are done, select the checkbox on the bottom of the screen and you will notice that the blue geofence line will remain on the map until you remove it. After completing your pre-flight checks, you are now ready for flight. From the live view screen, we're going to first check that we have GPS connectivity, full Wi-Fi connection, and if you are using LTE, that you have a full connection there as well. Like the rest of the BOK to fly, the takeoff procedure is very intuitive. To arm the drone, move the slider at the bottom right of the live view screen up and then press and hold the green BLK to fly takeoff icon. The drone will take off automatically and hover around two meters waiting for the user input. You will see the virtual joysticks pop up on the screen. Even though they are virtual joysticks, they react just like you would expect. You will notice that they will hide if not in use for some time, and they can easily be brought back on the screen by tapping on the left or the right screen to unhide them. Another way to control the BLK to fly without using the virtual sticks is to use the double tap flight mode. Once airborne, you will simply double tap on the screen where you'd like the drone to fly. The distance which the drone travels can be set under the flight settings under control interactions. The distance can be set from one to 10 meters, and this change can be done while on the ground or in flight. Now we're gonna test the manual recording function. The manual record function is a good tool to supplement an area or surface recording or both. When recording, you may feel you may not have fully covered a segment of the site so you can easily start a manual recording to combine with your other scans. To begin a manual scan, select the plus sign at the top right of the screen. This will bring up the Add New Scan page, where you can name your scan and either add it to an existing project or create a new one. Once done, select Manual Recording. You will notice the counter in the top right of your screen begin counting up to give you an idea of your scan length. While using any recording method, you can always check the low density version of your current scan by tapping on the record preview button. You can move around the environment to ensure complete coverage. And once you are done recording, you can simply select the recording time icon and you will be prompted for a confirmation to end the recording. To close out this first flight, we are going to be testing the return to home function. As with the rest of this drone, this is a very simple process and can be completed at any time during the flight. 
although it is not required as you can reach the return to home option from any of the three flight screens, we are going to switch to the live view. Select the return to home icon in the bottom right of the screen. You will be presented with three options depending on your need. For today, we are going to select the return to launch point. Once you have selected your landing position, you must confirm that this is the command that you would like to proceed with. The drone will immediately begin to return to the user selected landing position. If for any reason you need to cancel the command, a large X button will appear at the bottom center of the screen. Once in the landing location, the drone will begin descending and display the downward camera and bring the virtual sticks up on the screen. This will allow you to make corrections to the drone's position as it is descending. The post-flight check of this drone is just as simple as the pre-flight. We are going to remove the battery from the drone and place it back into the hard case, fold both halves of the drone back into the middle, and gently place it back into the carrying case for its next mission. From here, we're going to prepare for our first mission. Thank you for watching this video on the Leica BLK to fly. If you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesfly.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.